Namaste. Namaste and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Mananam Anjali Hey. And today we're going to be watching a video called The Reality of Pakistan. Um, we've done a few things on Pakistan. We've done yeah. a few of Imran Khan's speeches. Um, and our theory on all of this is we would like to see peace between the two countries that used to be one, that used to be brothers. Yeah. Um, as, instead of such hatred that seems to come mostly from Pakistan side, I find, um, especially in the comments. But our thing here is we are not against any religion. We are not against any color, race, ethnicity. We want peace for everybody. We want peace and prosperity. We yeah. want every country to focus on education and you know building up their economics and right now making their own stuff being more self-reliant um you know when imran khan gets on his pedestal most of the time he talks Kashmir, um or he blames india for stuff um once in a while he gets on and talks about the trees that they've planted or some of the few things that they've done um, not having enough money to to do the things that he wants to do um, and then he started talking about building this Hindu temple um, a new one a new construction and we did a news clip recently where yeah. a bunch of people from Pakistan got up and said they wanted nothing to do with that that was against you know Sharia law that was against everything that Pakistan stands for and it should not happen um, I I'm sure some of it may have been you know he's trying to make good make the world look good at pakistan um but still he's doing it he's trying uh, how much i believe i'm not really sure but a while back we did a video on um some pakistani kids and and it was like a commercial where they talked about how much they hated india and the things that they wanted sad. to do to Indians if One they, of them Pakistan said took over. they were going to eat beef at the border. Yeah. Eating beef in front of them, making them wash toilets. Like, it was very mean and degrading. Whereas India has always, no matter color, race, religion, opened its arms to anyone in peace who's come in and said, you know, peacefully they want to be there. They welcome anybody you see hundreds of thousands of tibetians that are living in a in an area that india built for them to keep them safe because they are refugees from tibet you know what country does that and it we've seen it time and time again you treat your guests like gods they are the first people you serve you give them the food on your plate even if you don't have enough for yourself it's always how it's been um and we have seen mostly, and send us links, but we have mostly seen, you know, not only children hating, Imran Khan spitting hate, um, other people, and it, it's straight at India, not any other country, but the country that used to be brothers with you, that used to be one, if you decided peace, I think there would be a lot more growth and development and good things coming, you know, it's almost like brothers that are jealous, you know, Pakistan is like India's brother, but jealous of India's growth and development so and much the great that it things. Hates it. So much that it hates it and wants to kill it. Like now you're siding with China and it China is going to eat you alive. Yeah. Eat you alive. Like they don't give a crap about you and you have said nothing about the two million Uyghur Muslims that are being converted, changed their Quran and being converted into the way the Chinese Communist Party wants them to be. You know, you've let them take your women, you, you know, because you want weapons, because you want some way that you think they're going to help you defeat India or I, I don't know. It just it baffles my mind that somebody who you used to be brothers with, you hate so much so much and yet i think if you tried even a little bit peace or neutral would even work but peace 
and try to work with Modi, I think Modi G would help you build your economy, help you make yourself just as great as India is. You could have tourism back and forth, like you could have open door policy, like you guys are used to be like one, but the hatred from Pakistan is so much. Um, I think people are almost blind to it and they see nothing else but the destruction of India. Yeah. And it's so sad when you could be doing so many great things for your people instead of like harboring terrorists and fuming hate inside your country. You know, it's it's just so sad. So on that note, we're going to watch this video. What's up? Okay, I'm fine. This is my son. Can you give me a message? Yes, sir. This is the temple in Islamabad. So this is the temple. I'm the temple of the Hindu. Do you understand? Allah is. This is the temple. Yes. Yes. Look at this. Oh my god. This is so sad. Yeah. Disgusting. Like, I want to cry that people are teaching their children not just hate, but they want to kill. These kids are not much older than Noah and Jaden. They look even They're younger little. than Jaden, yeah. They're little. And this not only talks about teaching the next generation, this has been generation after generation of hate spewed down from the last probably two, three, four generations living in Pakistan. Like, this... I thought the other commercial was horrendous because this it is worse. was a commercial. This is where it comes from this is straight from where it comes from this is obviously the father spewing this at home and now the kids are speaking the same hatred and but the problem is the kids don't know what they're saying the kids don't know any better and i don't blame it all on the father because like, he was probably taught this too this has gone on for a lot but they need to wake up to reality where India is right now a great country and they could totally be brothers with it again. They don't have to be one country again, but they do and can be brothers again. Yeah, like uh, this hatred is unbelievable that it's this bad. That not only seems to be coming from the homes and the schools that they, they polluted on the TV, it's goes on and on and on and china is not your friend they are using you to get to india and you think that's a good thing they're gonna take you down on in the process they don't give a crap about any pakistani person no. like they don't care about the tibetians like they don't care about the uyghur muslims like they don't care about hong kong like they don't care about anything but pushing the borders as far as they can and it's going to be your demise for your hatred towards India, which still, to my knowledge, like, I don't understand how the hatred can be that bad. You know, they're your neighbors. They probably genetically, you have the same DNA. You can probably go back in history and you have probably many relatives that live in India than live in Pakistan eat similar foods you know this is why we speak about religion should stay in the home that it should be a personal thing it shouldn't be what base the whole country on shouldn't be what bases everything you do on it should be a personal thing who you pray which god or gods you pray to what you believe in your heart should stay in your home with your family yeah. and should not be spread around because god does not spew hatred like this this is just pure pure hatred and like you said these kids have no idea what they're really saying but it's what they've been hearing and what they're being taught over and over and over again and when they're older they're probably going to teach the same thing to their kids it's like. just so sad so sad 
in a world where we need peace and we need people working together and we need to be more self-reliant now and this is not the time to be spewing this kind of hatred to India. India, it's a beautiful country. Is any country perfect? No, but India has come so far and Pakistan could be right there alongside it if you guys work together. Um, so I'm gonna send out lots of thoughts and prayers and hope that people come to their senses and know that peace is a better answer um yeah politics is better than war and violence or terrorism and um and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow bye, bye.